works best when your opponent starts to circle. Well, I'm, I'm in here like this, and I come here, like, I come here like this, and see how he's circling that leg around before I get my head underneath. And look how I trap his arm. See his arm trapped with my neck? I'm, I trap his hand in there. It's just dead, it's not doing anything. I locked it in. Here, got his chin, I'm pinching it tight to my neck, and I'm going in deep here. Okay, from here, I'm just gonna keep running that direction. Run right into him. Once I drive here, then I lock, go to lock my hands. Partner, you gotta give him that feel to circle, circle around, and that's gonna open up that. And that move comes in this last second. What I'm looking for is to take his back. Okay, one, one, one thing that's interesting, see where he has his hand up here on my shoulder? I can't do the move right now. I can't. If he's got my neck, grab my neck with that hand. I can't do it, okay? So at this moment, I'll, I'll maybe I'll back away, and I'll go and tie him again. This time he grabs my elbow, grabs my elbow, right there, and I can hit it here. So uh, if his hand is on you, you can't do it. But I want you to know, the, the first time we shake hands and tie up, that just because he ties up a certain way that I don't see uh, my move, Disconnect and try your tie up again. People tie up different all the time. I can't snap here. I can't snap because he's pushing. I can't even get any pull on his head here. So how about if I bend the head and get it right there, moving his head around. There, now I got it. He's got his hand in a different place. So just, just something to think about. Uh, we can't do it. So partner, make sure you grab the elbow, uh, grab my wrist. I can do it there, grab my elbow, yep, how about inside tie? I can, I can do it from inside tie, to here, but if it's posting on my shoulder, on the outside, or grabbing my neck, it's not there. If he's grabbing my neck from here, I'll, I'll shoot my under here. Okay, you gotta be able to change up accordingly. So, uh, just something to think about. So, one more time with this one. When I go for this move, I'm taking this back. Okay, I'm gonna come here and I'm looking for this. Okay. I'm looking for that. But if I go for this move here and he pulls his elbow in tight to his body, here and then I automatically go to cradle. If I go for the move and he starts to circle around, what am I looking for now? Far pin, yes. You can't have all the finishes in your head at once. In your mind to be like, what, what, you lost. You have your ideal finish. But we always make room for adjustments. For little things that he may do, I make an adjustment. And so, uh, on this one, this last one, on this position, as you snap, he circles his hips away, there's a cross pick. Go ahead, try it, go.